Hello and welcome to Ganesh Institute channel. Today the topic of discussion is difference equation. Now you might be thinking of that I have already made the video on it. Yeah, it's correct. But today the discussion topic is difference equation having different cases of particular integers. Let me remind you the concept again. So difference in difference equation you have you will be given with the equation and if it is equals to zero then you have to find out only the complementary function. I'll tell you how. So that will be your complete solution. But if you will be given anything else instead of zero in equals in right hand side then you have to uh, find out particular integrals as well. When you will add particular integral and complementary fraction you will get the complete solution. Today, what we are taking as a case of particular integral is power function. Let's see. You have two examples. Let's see this. If you see, if you observe, it is equal to a raised to power n. Okay. So, how can we do? How can we solve it? See. First of all, you have to make auxiliary equation, which is e square of order n plus 2. So, e square minus 4e plus 3 equals 0. Okay. If you split it, it, you will take common, you know how to split a function, right? Factorize a function. So, you have now real but distinct roots. So, for that, your solution is C1 a raised to power n plus C2 b raised to power n. That means because 1 raised to power n will be 1. So, simply this is your complementary factor. If it would be 0, then this will be your, this would be your complete solution. But, because it is equal to something which is in the form of a raised to power n, so you need to find out particular integral as well. So, what is the formula for particular integral of the case a raised to power n? If you have an equation in the form of this, and it is a raised to power n, you have to simply put a in place of e. Okay? This will be your particular integral. So, let's see. So, your particular integral will be your equation. Your auxiliary equation is e square minus 4e plus 3. a raised to power n is 5 raised to power n. If you put 5 in place of e as according to the formula, so it is 5 square minus 4 times 5 plus 3. So 25 minus 20 which is 5 plus 3, 8. So your complete solution is complementary factor plus particular integral. And here we go. This is the complete solution. But what? I'm not telling you, revealing you what is it about. But let's solve this. E square minus 4e plus 4. This is n plus 1. Sorry about that. So, equals 0. Now, if you see, this is a perfect square of e minus 2, right? Now, you have two real roots and equal roots. So, can I ask you, what is the formula for complementary factor of equal roots? If you see my, if you have seen my difference equation video. What is it? C1 plus C2n and root raised to power n. Okay? This is your complementary factor. Now, in, uh, if we find out, if you want to find out particular integral, then the formula is this, right? Your equation is e minus 2 whole square a raised to power n. Now, if you observe, and if you put, according to this formula, a in place of e, a is 2, in place of e, 2 minus 2 is 0, which is in definite form, right? So, what you need to do, I'm telling you general equation. To solve such type of particular integrals in which you have the equation somewhat like this, when you will put a, a minus a will be 0, you have to take n into a raised to power n minus 1. This is the formula. And if it is, the second case, if it is e minus a whole square, then also it will be a minus a 0. So, n, n minus 1, 
my 2 factorial a raised to power n minus 2. Okay? So, if we apply this formula here, because this is similarly this, similar to this, so particular integral will be 1 by, your equation is e minus 2 square, a raised to power n, 2 raised to power n, n, n minus 1, 2 factorial, you know, 2 into 1, 2, a raised to power a is 2 raised to power n minus 2, okay? And if you simplify it more, n into n minus 1, base same in, divid in divis uh, dividend form or uh, when you divide something, base same power are, powers are subtracted. So 2, n minus 2 minus 1, n minus 2. This is your particular integral. So when you find out complete solution, what it will be? Complete complementary factor plus particular integral, your complementary factor is this, c1 plus c2n, 2 raised to power n, plus particular integral is n, n minus 1, 2 raised to power n minus 2. I hope you got this topic. Rest of the topic we will discuss in our next video. Till then, don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Take care. Bye.